ever needed to create a repeating sequence like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or maybe a group list like this, 1, 1, 1, 1, like this, and 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, all the way like this, and so on. These are called collated and uncollated lists. And today, I'll show you how to build them in seconds. First, the collated list. We'll start with a simple formula and build it up. We're going to start off with a sequence function. And the argument in there, we're going to say 20. So what this does is essentially creates a sequential number running from 1 all the way down to 20. Now, if you were to put the second argument as 1 and then put 0 as the third argument, what it does is that it creates one column starting with 0. Of course, if you say 2 here, you can see there's two columns. And if you say 3 here, it will create three columns and so on. Or the last argument here is the initial or a starting value. Mine, I've got starting with 0. If you want to start with, say, 5 or 3 or whatever, is you can put 3 or 5 in there. For our example, we're going to start with 0 as our first value. Now, if you want to do a collated list, you got to have a repeated value for x number of time and then repeat again. In order to do that, you can use a mod function above sequence function like this. So the mod function, the first argument will be sequence followed by the number of repeats going to have. I'm going to say 5 here. And what it does is that it's going to repeat with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, if you want to start with 1 instead of 0, all you have to do is you have to plus 1 at the back. And there you go. It starts with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it starts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, this is called collated list. Now, to do the uncollated list, we're going to start off with sequence function as well. And then we're going to get a sequence of 20 numbers by simply putting uh, argument as 20 like this. Now to repeat this list as an uncollated list, all you have to do is to divide this by however number of times you want to repeat. I'm going to repeat five times like this and you can see you can get something like that. The reason why you're not seeing a correct set of repeats of five but you're getting two is because of decimal place. If you highlight them and change the number of decimal place to say two decimal place, you can see that it is actually working. It goes from 0 0.2 all the way to one here. Now, to make this into uncollated list, all you have to do is to encapsulate the sequence function with roundup function like this. And the first argument of the roundup function will be sequence, followed by the second argument will be the number of decimal place, which is going to be zero for me. As you can see, it creates a perfect uncollated numbering list. Now, if you're curious what this zero does is that, let's say, for example, if you put one, it will show you value in one decimal place. It will change this to two. It will show you in two decimal place and so on. Now, all you have to do is to control decimal place by reducing the two decimal place into one whole number like that. And there you go. In my next video, I'll show you a practical example of how you can use collated and uncollated lists in your Excel. Please stay tuned.